shrine is a sacred place. Offerings to Watsumi or Mikami are given. The area is closed to outsiders. I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh, I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Hey, not you too. <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tale is? Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. 
Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically, something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. Really? That would be great! To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation, they'd be very disappointed. So, I have to overcome it, for their sake! As soon as I've worked through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again. <sighs> first things first, though. Do you have any ideas on where to begin? I see. So if you pretend to be someone like her, I can keep practicing on you. If I can get the better of you, then I'll be able to hold my own when similar situations come up in the future. Good plan. Let's see. Where should we start? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I remember having a similar experience back on Watatsumi Island. I was with my subordinates at the time. We ran into a merchant, I got caught up talking to them, and I don't quite know what happened, but I ended up buying a lot of things from them. I think we can give it a try. There's an island called Rito nearby. Why don't we go there? I heard all the Outlander merchants are based there, so it might help to create the right atmosphere. So this is Rito. Although it looks slightly gloomy, it feels very peaceful here. I don't see any Tenryo Commission soldiers roaming the streets. What a nice place. Okay, let's get started. I'll be me, and you be a shrewd and savvy businesswoman. Hi! <clears throat> Hi! So... Uh, a lot of the soldiers have been complaining about a shortage of blankets recently. So, uh, ten blankets, please? Okay, I'll settle the check right away. The price seems pretty cheap to me, in which case no need to haggle, right? I think that's still not too bad. Is that supposed to be really expensive? Uh, I'm sorry. In the past, Her Excellency has always handled procurement of military supplies. I don't know the specific prices of these items, so I never really know how to respond. Uh, this won't get us anywhere. I have to haggle to give you the chance to use your wily tricks on me. What do we do now? Something I'm more interested in? Hmm, maybe, um, cake? That's so expensive. I know what a fair price is when it comes to cake. Wait a sec, if you think about this from another angle, a cake that costs 100,000 more per slice must be so much better than a regular cake. Oh, let me see. I've been saving up recently. I think I should have enough. So, there isn't really a kind of cake that costs 100,000 more per slice? <sighs> 
What a shame. Uh, I feel like role-playing as a vendor is a little outside our area of expertise. Uh, what kind of person do we both see regularly enough to impersonate convincingly? Fatui? Then it looks like a trip into the wild is in order. Let's go give it a try! Love or freedom? Which one should I choose? I'll catch up! I've dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big, stocky guys who are much taller than me. I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow, I still don't have the muscles to show for it. Maybe I'll start to see the results in a few more years. Really? That's very kind. But still, I think that I should aim to look more muscular than my subordinates at the very least. I know that people's trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but... If I were taller and bulkier, they'd be able to identify me from behind more easily when charging into battle. That way, our forces wouldn't scatter so easily. As long as I was on the field, they'd be able to follow me. But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? What? I smell danger! Really? Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual Fatui were right here. No, wait. Behind you! It wasn't my imagination. They really are here. Prepare to engage! Are you here to play? Ah! Let me amuse myself a little. Let's move. Moment of birth. As a dutiful maid would. I missed a spot. Advance. Enhanced animal 
angels. I must leave no stone unturned. Burst forth. I've dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big, stocky guys who are much taller than me. I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow, I still don't have the muscles to show for it. Maybe I'll start to see the results in a few more years. Really? That's very kind. But still, I think that I should aim to look more muscular than my subordinates at the very least. I know that people's trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but if I were taller that way, our forces... But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? What? I smell danger! Really? Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual Fatui were right here. No, wait. Behind you! It wasn't my imagination. They really are here. Prepare to engage! Are you ah! here to play with me? Come into be! Moment of birth! of birth. Interruption has really ruined the mood for me. Let's not do any more Fatui impressions for today. It seems in poor taste after the trouble they caused in Watatsumi Island anyway. Do we have any other options? Hmm, huh. what do you mean? Uh, is this moving a little too fast? Her Excellency advocates slow and steady progress in all things and cautions against trying to advance too quickly. To clarify, it's not that I'm scared. It's just that I don't know if the time is right. Uh... I guess you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. It's not like me to shy away from a challenge like this. Let's do it! Time for a make-or-break training exercise!
And we're back. Don't worry, my head's in the game this time. I am a high-ranking military officer of Watatsumi Island and the General of the Resistance. Whatever tricks you've got up your sleeve, you're not going to get to me. So bring it on! Hmm, this feels like... Yes, it definitely feels like... Uh, no, not even slightly. It's not that you do a bad impression of her, more like uh, something is missing. I finally realized it when you were talking to me just now. I think that maybe what I'm really afraid of is her knowing smile and her piercing gaze. Uh, it just makes me feel like all my secrets have nowhere to hide, like she can just peer in and see them. But. It's different with you. I trust you, so I don't feel I need to hide my secrets in the first place. Even when you're imitating the way she speaks, I don't feel afraid. Because we fought side by side in the past, and I know I don't have to have my guard up around you. <sighs> but it also means that this training won't work. I just have to accept that this is a weakness of mine, as much as it pains me to do so. The thought of having to live with this weakness forever is... Frustrating. Are you serious? I love that. I haven't eaten anything sweet in a long time. Off we go. Let's go buy some cake. All right. The next step is to find somewhere nice and quiet. This is so good. <laughs> it's certainly a rarity in the camp. It's seen as a luxury item in the ranks of the resistance. We have special meals on occasion, but even then it usually means meat and wine, not dessert. So, thank you for treating me to some cake. The only downside with Narukami Island's pastries is that they're such exquisite things, you can't just chow down on them. But, as Her Excellency says, a general needs to show patience and restraint. Wow, uh, don't mind if I do. Oh. Mm, that's so sweet. 